using Quora features to market your business. Hey there, everyone. Now that you have created your Quora account and optimized your profile, it is time to start using the features that will allow you to market your business on the platform. In this lesson, we'll walk you through the basics, from configuring your settings for maximum reach to answering questions the right way. So let's dive in. Settings. Let's first stop by the settings section of your account. Click on the profile icon located in the top right corner of the screen, and then click on the settings tab in the menu. The landing page for the settings section is the account settings page. Here you can configure and edit your basic account settings, including your registration email, your passwords, and your connected accounts. Some of the settings in the privacy and email and notifications pages can help you to have greater control on your reach. Let's click on the Privacy tab to go to the Privacy Settings page first. Here you can control privacy settings such as allowing search engines to index your name and allowing adult content in your feed. Inbox Preferences, then include permissions for users to send you private messages, comment preferences, translation preferences, and content preferences. Let's now click on the Email and Notifications tab. In this section, you can control what type of email notifications you'd like to receive from Quora. In general, it is a good strategy to leave these notification settings as default, so you can receive notifications even when you're away from the site. Follow people and questions. Following people and questions on Quora is, first, essential to build your content feed, and second, it helps you to find out the type of questions and answers that your audience favors. Following people and questions is also important because it helps you to learn who are top contributors, which users are rising as writers, and to learn their styles. This is vital because it helps you learn more about how your niche audience interacts with authority accounts. There are two methods you can apply to find people and questions to follow. The easiest and most direct method is by going to your Quora feed where you'll find people and questions in real time. You'll find people in your feed by checking the answer right below a question in your feed. Their profile will be highlighted above the question, and all you have to do is to click on their name and then to click on the follow icon located in the profile. To follow a question, simply click on the title of the question to go to the question page. Once there, click on the follow icon that you'll find right below the title. Easy, right? Let's try out the other method. First, Enter a topic keyword into the search bar. Then click on the search tab on top of the display results. On the following page, click on the profiles tab located under by type. You'll see a list of users in the results column. And all you have to do is to click on the follow icon below their profile. To find questions to follow, click on the questions tab in the same section. A list of questions on that topic will appear in the results column. Again, all you have to do is to click on the follow icon that you'll find below each question. Answer on Quora. We're doing an awesome job so far. And now that you know your way around Quora, it is time for you to learn how to answer a question on Quora the right way. As we explained before, you will find questions to answer in the Quora feed, in the answer section, and also here, in the search results when you filter questions for a specific topic. To answer a question on Quora, all you have to do is to click on the title of the question to enter the question page, and then to click on the answer icon. This will open the answer editor, and all you have to do is to type your answer into the text field. You can stylize the text by using the formatting options in the toolbar. You can attach images to your answer by clicking on the gallery icon to upload an image from your computer. You can also attach links by clicking on the link button. All you have to do is to insert your destination URL into the URL field and then to click on Add. Once you are done composing and editing your answer, click on the Submit button. And that is it! As you can see, using Quora is easy and straightforward.